Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmasters vlog for the Warhammer 40,000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in UK. So yeah, my dear viewers, we're gonna be starting a new series of this vlog and in this uh, spin-off series I'm gonna be focusing on my Imperial Guard. Why, you guys might ask, guys and girls I mean, might ask, is because I'm in a very difficult spot in my life currently. I have a lot of things to do in, at the university. I'm gonna be trying to move uh, very soon and yeah, I, frankly I have to grow up. But uh, growing up doesn't mean I have to quit the hobby. It just means I have to priorit prioritize uh, my interests and well, you, c you can't be focusing entirely on your hobby. Your hobby is supposed to be on your spare time and not your entire time. So that's why I'm going to be filming my Imperial Guard and then I'm going to sell out m many things of them. First out, uh, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about my Imperial Guard. They, they are the Im Im Cadian 443rd Infantry Regiment, called the Death Cards. Back in 2008, when I was done collecting Tau, I took out my few remaining Imperial Guard figures, which I had, uh, which I still had uh, locked in a small box from 2004, when I actually uh, actually collected some of them for the first time. If you see my first introduction video, I will explain more, in more deeper detail of in my history with, with the Warhammer universe. Uh, so yeah, back in 2004, I had a small army which it was combined of. Imperial Guard, Cadian, Shock Troopers, and Armageddon Steel Legion uh, members. <coughs> uh, when, so when I took uh, out those uh, few remaining uh, leftovers, they became the start of my new army. Uh, I also started writing about them, and they were, they were the second army with some slight fluff attached to it. The first uh, army was my Tau. But uh, yeah, the overall commanding officer is C Colonel Graham Locker, leader of the 443rd. He comes from Cassier Fridas and is at the age of 57 uh, during the stories. He isn't he isn't the model here in front of you, however. No, that, the the model here in front of you is Captain Ivory Bow, commander of the fourth company of the 443rd Regiment. He is also from Cassier Fridas as well and he is at the age of 29. His grandfather used to be Cast, uh, Caster, uh, also a Cadian officer who died uh, during the, uh, during when uh, Ivory was at a young age. Ivory's parents are called Iliam and Lean, Lean and they died very early in, the, in his life as well. When he was 15 years old, he signed up for the shock troopers and steadily r rose in rank during that time. He is described with short, dark brown hair. He is rather tall. He has blue eyes after his mother, and his facial features came from his father. Uh, the first story, which is called the Death Cards, uh, takes place when the regiment is shipped to the Harad system outside of the Ultimatum Segmentum. Uh, in my writings, I had a really complicated story pan uh, panned out, uh, which is very unfluffy after reading some of the materials of the, from Black Library. Uh, I should, uh, tell you, uh, should tell you guys that the stories I wrote back in 2008 well, uh, outdate uh, my first Black Library story which I read, which was Horse, Her Horse Rising back in 2009. So after that, I noticed very many mistakes uh, and fluff errors. Errors. So after noticing there, there were too many. I, I, I only, I only, yeah. I saved the writings, but uh, never opened them again afterwards. Uh, they were too, too wrong to say so, as I am a fluff Nazi. Uh, in the short works, uh, in, 
in, uh, in, in a short detail, the story is pretty much how they are fighting the Chaos Legions and have to stop them from retrieving an artifact called the Key of Malagrar. Many of the Chaos Space Marines from these uh, Imperial Guard stories were later reused as characters in the Emperor's Children stories, stories which I have al already started uh, talking about. Uh, in the story of, of the, of the Cadian 443rd, uh, Ivory Bow's love interest is called Trooper Caitlin Beaver. Uh, she is a member of the 1st Platoon 4th Company. She is a bit older than Ivory Bow at the age of 35, and she is a member of the 667th uh, squ Squad. Mm. Yeah, I, I was uh, later planning on making it uh, a tragic love story and uh, gonna, was going to kill her off at the end of the second story. This I would uh, actually be later reusing in another sense in my Emperor Children's story, but I won't spoil you too much about that, so you have to read it yourself. Uh, my Imperial Guards are made out of Cajun Shock Trooper models, most of them. And they are painted, painted in overall bleach bone on the clothing and Katishan green on the armor. And then I used Elf Flesh as skin colors uh, with the, the old brown ink for facial shadows. Not all of the Cajuns have the brown ink since uh, it uh, was put out of production and later dried up so I didn't have any left. But it was off that I moved over to the Ogryn Flesh Wash which is actually better if, if I would say so. Uh, yeah, so the uh, 443rd Regiment in the stories is later combined with the Regiment's Cadian 268th. They are also, uh, also known as card, Cards of Hearts slash Heart Crushers and the Cadian 32nd uh, Armored Regiment called the Cards of Diamond slash Diamond Brigade to make a, a stable 2nd Cadian Infantry Divi Division led by Major General Levenhaupt. The 443rd motto is You are not dead my card so bring me death. Hmm? So that's pretty much my story. Uh, of uh, Ivory Bow's command, uh, uh, commanding command squad, I only have him the named character. Otherwise, uh, others are pretty unnamed, and, and so on. Yeah. So, what do I? What's uh, consist? What? What is the command squad co consisting of? Well, first off, we have Ivory Bow character, which you can see here. He wields a last pistol and a chain sword. To his right, we have the Vox operator, who is currently holding and fixing his, listening to some signals, and he is holding his last gun strapped to his left arm. Next to him, we have the veteran, veteran, which is a melter gun wielder guy. He has. His helmet has fallen off, as you can see here on the back, and and he has a major scar on his forehead. Then we have the medic of the company, as you can see here, or one of the medics. He's currently taking out some band-aid to fix up some of the troopers, perhaps. And then the standard bearer, who. We, who, uh, I wasn't quite satisfied with the with the metallic arm or the robotic arm, so I changed it for a regular for a regular chain sword arm of the uh, of an imperial guard sergeant. And I used the uh, Kedian Eighth uh, Regimental Banner because I thought it would uh, suit as a very cool uh, company co uh, company banner. Yeah, and I also have some unofficial uh, officer grades for my for my um, Imperial Guard army. First off, uh, all com 
the highest command commanders of a regiment or a company, they all, always have golden aquilas on their armor, or armor and uniforms. If you look very carefully, you can see that he has a gold eagle there. If you switch this around, you can see that this is painted gold. This is painted gold. The helmet is painted gold. The medic mark is painted gold. Or, uh, well, uh, well, I mean, gold represents uh, a very high... Uh, it pretty much represents the high... the, the commanders of... Uh, a com uh, company or a regiment, so and so on. Platoon leaders usually have silver painted on on their aquilas, and regular troopers have painted white. This is uh, so I have some kind of uh, so I see some difference between them. Also, there's also some other inf unofficial uh, things to see d difference on the officers. I usually use red for company company officers. Then I use yellow and purple for lower uh, lower grades. Uh, what you will also be seeing uh, in another episode is yellow used for the commanding officer of the 12th company, but that is another story which I'm going to be telling you about later on. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this first segment of this new spin-off series in my vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching my Imperial Guard and it's been very interesting to present them to you. Don't forget to rate and subscribe my videos, please give a thumbs up and also please leave a comment on things you think I'm doing good so we keep on doing them and negative critique on things you think I should improve or remove entirely. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this. Forward men! There's work to be done!